Hello, everybody. Welcome to the internet. I'm your host, Turd Ferguson. Mm. Guys, look, we opened a Teferi and a History of Benalia. We did it. So far, in our Vintage Cube drafts, we opened one Teferi, two Karns. No, one Teferi, a Karn, two Lyras, and a History. This is amazing. It's almost like they're trolling us. I think it's man. I think it's Mandarin here. I think it's Mana Drain. Gonna be draining them dudes. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, I want to be blue. But I want to be good blue and not bad blue. I'm gonna be... I don't want to be bad blue. I would probably never take Teferi over Mana Drain, good sir. Must draft Dominaria cards. Yeah, well, after the 60-plus Dominaria drafts I've done, you will uh, not begrudge me of not doing that, hopefully. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got here? Metal Worker. That's exciting. When is the no blue card step? Um, well, that was the first draft we did was no blue cards. So, I don't know, but... Three hours ago? I do like Frosty. I do like Hostage Taker. I like Kolagon's Command. I like Metal Worker. Metal Worker is pretty sweet in this cube, I imagine. Frosty is a titan. He's a very frosty boy. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, Mr. Maga. Um, no, Teferi is probably great in this format, but, I mean, Mana Drain is one of the most powerful cards in the cube. Um, I don't think there's enough creatures to really care about Hostage Taker. I want to take the Metal Worker because I think this is a cool build around. And if we lose... Fucking liar. Unbelievable, man. <laughs> now they're just trolling me. Uh, the odds of seeing these so frequently in three drafts is pretty surprising to me. Hey, man, what doesn't surprise you, though? I don't know. Something things surprise me. I get surprised a lot. I'm a surprise guy. Got Lyra Dawnbringer and Baneslayer. Which one's better? Probably Baneslayer. Flying First Strike Lifelink. Pro, dra pro Dragons and Pro Demons. And this one has other angels. Actually, Lyra might be better. And what if the Baneslayer comes back? Whoa. Oh, my God. It's the Frosty song, isn't it? Oh, we get the I knew it. I knew it. God, you're so good at this. I would like to pick all the artifacts, but the only artifacts is Lightning Greaves in this pack. That still could be good. We could just take one of these two, and maybe the Teferi Wheels, or maybe the Supreme Verdict comes back. I don't think this is a cube. This isn't a creature. The Vintage Cube is not often that heavy creatures. I'm going to take this, because we're going to stick with our Metal Worker pick. And now we get to play Baleful Strix. And that still sticks with our Metal Worker pick. You guys are going to scream opposition. I'm going to say, yes, it's super powerful, but we're trying to draft Metal Worker Artifact theme, and you guys are going to get real upset. And I'm going to take a Baleful Strix, because that is great. Now I'm going to take this Mind Slayer or this Mind Slaver or this Sword of Fire. Where were you ever when I needed you? Sword of Fire and Ice is my favorite sword. Chupacabra was all day here in Brazil. What does that mean? I don't think Copter is great. Like, in a deck like this, you're probably not going to have that many things to crew the Copter. Baleful Strix is just so much, so much better. Did you not go out at night because of the Chupacabras? I'm going to take this Mind Slaver. Oh, a Spell Skite? That seems good, right? Is that better than Shriek Maw? Maybe. When we got my Metal Worker. Shriek Maul is a scary dude. Sword seems really bad here. Sword never seems really bad anywhere. I'm going to take the Spell Skite. Oh. 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 I, 
kind of like Dragon Lord, Demon Lord Belzenlock here, just because it's cool. Can you explain to this here dummy how Metalworker works? What a dummy. Dan O'Mac. Metalworker says, tap it and reveal any number of artifacts in your hand, and you add two colorless for each artifact revealed. So you can tap this guy, reveal three artifacts, and you get six mana. It's pretty It's pretty ridiculous. It's got to be Centering Titan. This is exactly what... Oh, the Abyss. We're doing it, boys. That's actually sick. Sun-dried Tomato Titan. That's exciting. That's exciting. Shieldred is probably the best card in this pack. Eh, it seems fine. Oh, I like a cast. I like Massacre Worm. Actually, Massacre Worm just wins games. Cast Town's cool, but I don't actually know how good it's going to be in this. I don't know. Chupacabra's fine. Smuggler's Copter came back. I want to make someone miserable by taking their tendrils. <laughs> Dan, not, totally not a stupid question, buddy. Totally not stupid. It's definitely an older card. It's it's probably about 20 years old, so I, I don't begrudge anyone for not knowing these. Do I win? I think you won the, the Italian Abyss. Oh, Thing in the Ice came back? I'm surprised that sword didn't come back, but not really. Any power. Any power at all. Not even close. Okay. Snapcaster Mana Drain is good. Grave Titan's good. Dragon Dark Slick Shores is pretty good. Preordain is pretty good. I do like the art on Metalworker. It's kind of funny. It's just like one big robot, like, shooting these little robots with, like... I don't know. I guess it's helping each other. I think Snapcaster with Mana Drain is probably better than Grave Titan. I don't think our deck is going to have any trouble uh, having big threats. Oh, you're a little totally lost when it comes to Vintage Cube. Yeah, I'm going to take this guy. Ooh, I like a big... Ooh, Shackle seems amazing. Amazing. Uh, I also like Sheldock Isle and Worn Power Stone a lot. But Shackles is pretty MVP if you're if you're going to be Heavy Islands as well. Plus, like, I really don't want to have that many non-artifact creatures because of the Abyss. The Abyss is at the beginning of each player's upkeep, destroy target non-artifact creature that player controls... So non-artifact creatures are really what you uh, don't want to have. Vidalcan Shackles is basically like a, an artifact damnation. Him to Torok. Thran Dynamo Duplicant. Wow. 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 Sheldock is definitely not better than Vidalcan Shackles there. I know Luis has a hard-on for, 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 for Sheldock Isle, but... It's got to be Duplicant here. Thran Dynamo is great, though. But Duplicant's an answer for everything. Yeah, I'm going to take the Duplicant. Frasca's Contempt is pretty good. Oh, Inqua Leviathan's actually fantastic here, isn't it? That's exactly what we want when we have Metalworker. It's an artifact, and it's a big, big dumb idiot. I like Chrome Mox. But I don't watch it, only you. <laughs> rickety, rickety wrecked, I appreciate that, buddy. Thank you so much. But, um... Yeah, I think Sheldock Isle is great, don't get me wrong. But I, I think an actual card uh, that's really good for our deck... Uh, like Duplicant is probably the trumpet for me most of the time. I do like, don't get me wrong, I love free cards off of Sheldock Isle. But 
you know. Okay, uh, Ulamog actually seems pretty pretty reasonable with Metalworker in here. Sphinx of the Steel one also good, but we have to have a white mana, which I'm not thrilled about. Walking Blista also not bad, but I think I like this Ulamog. It is a non-artifact creature though, so we would have to sacrifice it to the Abyss. I like Reese if you're just naming naming cards. Ulamog, Sphinx and Ballista. These are the cards in this pack. Yeah, if we ever play, make sure you tell me how bad my deck is and then say you're a big fan. Do that. I think I like the Ulmog. Ulmog real strong. Ulmog real strong. Dig through time. Ooh. Ooh. I like a dig through time. Wait. Destroy indestructible. Bjorn, you brilliant son of a biscuit. Oh, Sword of Feast and Famine. Hero's Downfall seems good. We already have Raska's Contempt, so I think we're actually just going to take... Actually... Hero's Downfall seems pretty good, especially with the Snapcaster Mage. I am concerned with... I don't want to have too many black sources because we do have a lot of... Uh, we want a lot of islands for the Vidalcan Shackles. Our deck seems pretty good, though. Sort of Feast and Famine. I'm going to go with Hero's Downfall here. Oh, Mystic Snake. Why? Yeah, we definitely need more mana sources than Metalworker. You're not wrong. Um... I'm going to take Snakeru. No one knows this is going to blow up everything we have. That's not very it's not very good. Um, it's still the pick, though. I don't know. Him to Torok. All right. Can I get some blue-black fixing lands one time? The answer... Oh. High Tide doesn't do it. Whatever. Someone's going to get a little, a little, a little bonus there. We might need more mana. Yeah, okay. Not trying to be too pet. No, that's not pessimism. That's uh Herborg did not come back, unfortunately. Which would have been great because then we could just play mono islands and an Herborg. Hey, we can actually play this guy. I don't think we would. This is still 19 playable cards. Um Which is not bad. If we can get Watery Grave slash Underground Sea, that'd be pretty sweet. No power in three drafts. It was always just tastes pretty good though. This is it. This is, so is Tezzeret. Ooh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten artifacts in the deck so far, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So twenty-five percent. Let's look at top five. Jitte is great, but we don't have a ton of creatures. How has your record been so far? We went 2-1 and then 1-2. So, yeah, I like Tez too. Sword. Upheaval. I don't think we're an upheaval deck. And someone's going to be like, you're always an upheaval deck. I like Sword of Body and Mind. This is one of my favorite swords in the cube. Glenlinger Archmage is great, but Tezzeret is probably a more cohesive strategy with our deck. Creeping Tarpet's probably better than Sword, I think. Well, it might come back. 
sword probably won't. Oh well, tar pit it is. I don't love Forge Master. I think it's a little too clunky. I like Force of Will. It's the only card that's really good for us in here. Spell Pierce is a thing. It's probably just Force here. We don't have a lot of blue cards, which is a, kind of obnoxious. Smokestack doesn't feel like we want to be. I mean, there's nothing else. We're not going to take a Necrotal. We already have Chupacabra. Necromancy is not great for our deck. So, might as well take Force and maybe play it. Noxious Gear Hulk. Thanks. Scarab God. Temple Scry Bottom. Thank you so much for the for the sub. Really appreciate it. Three months in a row. Welcome back. I think it's Scarab God here. Noxious Gear Hulk is a dude. Stoneforge Mystic, no. It's either it's either Gear Hulk or Scarab God. Actually, Thirst for Knowledge is pretty good too. Could be Thirst. Joyra seems insane, but we're not red. So, like, we have no way to actually effectively splash a red card, unfortunately. I agree with you, though. Gearhulk is an artifact. Scarab God has much better upside, though. We don't have much card drawing. I think we're actually going to take the Thirst. I don't think we need another threat here, but... Oh, Venser. Venser seems nice. Crucible Worlds? Nah, that's not going to get us anywhere. I'm just going to take the Venser here. Yeah, Thirst is boring, but probably best. That's, uh, that's a pretty good description of it. I don't hate Concealed Courtyard for Sphinx, but I don't love it either. card's very good. But I'm just going to play the Venser. Another Tezzeret, huh? Search library for an artifact with command costs cost 3x or less. Put on the battlefield. This seems good. I mean, this just seems really good. Are we a workshop deck? I don't even think we're a workshop deck, to be honest. We don't actually have that many artifacts anymore. Or do we? It's not great. 10. I mean, the problem is we have a lot of color mana requirements. I think it's probably still the pick in this pack, and we can decide at a future point if this is what, if we play it. Lodestone Golem seems good. So does Jace Bellerin, actually. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe we cut some of these mana requirements and just play Lodestone Golem and Mishra's Workshop deck over here. I do like Jace, though. Jace seems pretty good. I don't think we're playing him here. We can probably cut one of these double black cards. I'm just going to take the Jace. I think the alternative is a little aggressive. <sighs> take Nighthawk. On oh, the sword came back. I don't care about this guy. God, I like this guy, though. It's one of these two. I just think it's called Alta Forge Master. Like, we don't have enough artifacts to sacrifice to the Forge Master is my biggest issue. Another sword. Sure. I'm going to take this Goblin Chain Whirler. Take Daredevil. Wow, Misha's Factory might even play. 
That's interesting. I can see cutting the double blacks and bringing them in if we need them. I actually like that because it puts us down to 22 cards and it might let us play something. It, it makes our uh, Vidakin Shackles a lot better as well. I like this. So I'll cut you, cut you, cut you. I almost have it. We also have Abyss, which is great. Yeah, we can Tez for minus two and and put the uh, put the Baleful Greaves into play, which is pretty sick. Do we have any efficient way to get this into play? Uh, Tezzeret's not going to do it. Not really. This is twenty two cards. Thing in the ice is not efficiently going to get cast with only Mana Drain, Thirst, and Force and Dig. Could just play another another. Uh, uh, Necrotal is worse than Chupacabra. Chupacabra literally kills every creature at all. This is non-black. Necrotal is non-black, non-artifact. The only perk to Necrotal is that it has uh, first strike and it can't be regenerated. But Solo Lich, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. This is 22. Do we just play Sword? Uh, I don't want to bring in Disc because it kills all of our artifacts, which is pretty brutal. Dig Through Time probably costs... It costs a bunch in this deck, yes. Right, in very fringe situations, Necrodol can kill your own guys. Chubacabra cannot. That's true, which is why I don't say it's strictly better. Um, because there are niche situations and magic is a game of niche 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 situations. So yeah, we'll just play the other sword. I think that's fine. And we'll put in Misha's Workshop, Misha's Factory, and Creeping Tarpit. I think we can go 10-4, which is actually 11, 5 black. And we only have three black. So we go six, nine. The mirror signet would have been great here. This is 10 blue sources. I wonder if Shrine of, Shrine of Burning Rage is actually worth just putting in instead of the sword. Like, we only have three black cards right now, but they're all... We want to cast them. I want to cast them! It's sad that all... Our, and Thing in the Ice is just terrible, so... Is Port good too? Um, it is, but I don't want to add too many lands that don't cast our spells. Especially when this is double blue and this is double blue and these are all double blue. So, and this is double blue. Remember, all, all of our other black cards are at least double black. Double black, double black, double black, double black, double black, double black. So I don't want to cut islands because we have Vidalcan Shackles in the deck. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to go grab a drink because I didn't do this in between rounds. And I'll be right back and we'll see how it does.
What's going on, game? I think better neck is all mountains and chain roller, but that's me. Okay. Ah, oh, all right. Let's try it. I think the better deck is less workshop and more swamp. I think the better deck is less Robert and more shutting up. Got him. Get wrecked. Robert, why are you like this? You make everyone sad. Oh, if it isn't pernicious dude himself. I'm gonna eat some craisins while we wait, so you guys are gonna get some... some ASMR mouse sounds here. Hmm. Not bad. I want to live the dream and go turn two lightning greaves, turn three metal worker, equip lightning greaves, play something broken. Where's the potato that usually sits behind you? The potato has not been... I assume you mean Michael. But... Wow. Wow. It's aggressive. You don't even know what you're looking for. Do they keep one land and they're like, I'll just search for the other land. I don't even care. When is my birthday? Uh, in about two weeks. Two weeks and a month. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I don't think that means what you think. It means swamp one time. Oh, Mishra's Workshop. That does not let us play Jace next turn, unfortunately. This is a nice, like, late game. I think Workshop is good in the late game as, like, a late game Dark Ritual, right? Like, it's turn three or turn four, and you go Mishra's Workshop into... Ah, oh, this card's good. I don't want to force that Jace, though. That was a great draw. But I don't know what to do with those salads and scrambled eggs. I'm going to draw a card. Ooh. Ooh. Sunday, chicken Sunday. Craisins in my mouth. Exchanging glances. Oh boy. I don't know what's happening here, but I'm... What in the earth? Do I counter this? I don't think so. Okay. So you, you played a Cabal Ritual to draw an extra card this turn. Okay. Um, excuse me, I could steal your Jace Bellerin right now. That's pretty good. I'd like to draw a card, please. That was a very good draw. Chicken Sunday should be a worldwide event. 
Sunday, Chicken Sunday. But excuse me. You don't know my life. Hmm. Okay. So long, Force of Will. Actually, Tezzeret's also very strong here. Make my spell scud into a 5-5, five, five, attack you for 5, you're at 14. That's not what's going to happen, I suppose. I will not untap, as you can imagine. I will draw. I will discard. I will play. Do I give us both cards? Hmm, let's see. Okay. Resolves. Turn over because our creature. Now we're just gonna we're just gonna look and we're gonna whiff, but we get to put a bunch of lands on the bottom, I guess. So that's cool. Well, that's real special, isn't it? We gotta be careful about activating this Jace when, uh... I assume we're gonna draw another one? Seems good. This is negative four. So we get... We deal them four right now. They lose twice the number of artifacts. So if we play Baleful Strix, they lose even more. They lose six. So if we can somehow rattle off, like, three artifacts in a row, we can put them to two. Yes, if if Jace lives because the, these exile themselves, they they leave, and then they return to the battlefield under their owner's control. They're very interesting. Exhume. Hmm. Well then, that's pretty good. I am uh, not thrilled about that. I suppose we'll sacrifice your Jace. But then you get to get back your Jace? Oh, boy. Yep, that's pretty good. How many, how many cards do we have to hit the Abyss? Abyss is still in our deck. Um... Yeah, we're not going to untap that yet. We'll probably sacrifice Jace. They can get Jace back, but I don't think we actually care about that. We should have dug, but I didn't actually think about it. Uh, I mean, we thought about it, but we didn't want to do it. Like I didn't, I didn't think about it in response, unfortunately. Let's draw. Don't be a land. Be the abyss. Greaves. Huh. Well, this is a pretty good hit. Let's see what we get here. Sort of body and mind mills them for a million, but that's bad because then they just get back Sheoldred. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have enough mana for Sundering Titan. Which is actually pretty good. Sort of body mind's not getting through. Sort of light and shadow doesn't do anything for us. It actually has to be Sundering Titan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, we can cast it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have exactly enough.
Oh, I was like, do you have a counterspell? Come on. Don't have a counterspell. Alrighty then. We do actually want to protect Tezzera, so we're going to get rid of your island and our swamp. This one and our swamp. Dunnies. We activated you and we activated you. Okay. Shut that swamp walk off. Get your tiny little JC back. Don't go chasing waterfalls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, actually, if they don't actually kill a guy. The problem is they, I mean, they have shouldered, so. So they, we do have to sacrifice a creature, so. Not exactly. If they draw a card, I mean, we have lots of we have lots of possibilities. Like if we play two artifact, we can actually steal their Jace again and keep sacrificing that. Pack rat, that's not gonna do it. Um, yep, I will untap this. Gain control of this, and I think that should do it actually. And we'll sacrifice this guy. I believe that's going to win us the game. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually go Greaves. That's not what we wanted to do at all. We missed. We that was not the way we wanted to do that. That is not how that works. That is unfortunate. Wow, that was terrible. We literally just clicked the wrong guy. <laughs> oh boy. Why is magic so hard? I mean, they have to block here or else they just die. So we'll see if they, maybe they don't actually know it. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. I think it's the ultimate Tez. Because Baleful Strix just kills them, right? But then this flips. Ah. So bad. Literally just clicked on the wrong card. I mean, we're still in reasonable shape. I think Equal Leviathan probably kills them, but... So they can flip Argyle's Blood Fast here, and they can sack Shieldred, but, I mean, then they lose Shieldred, so... This is what happens when you play too fast, kids. Hopefully you guys watch me for the humorous commentary and entertainment, any entertaining anecdotes, uh, more so than the flawless technical prowess that we exhibit during our Magic Online matches. What are you getting back? A little pack rat? Seems fine. And I guess we just win the game. I don't actually know how. They could have actually killed our Tezzeret there. They might have forgotten about the Swamp Walk, maybe. I don't know. Either way. 
I'll take it. I do want to add more black here. I think we can cut the workshop for more swampums. And then we can bring in, take out the sort of light and shadow and bring in a hero's downfall. Take out something else, poop, and then uh, take out Smuggler's Copter and bring in Veraska's Contempt. Uh, we have no white sources whatsoever, so we're not running any Sphinxes. Huge fan, but why do you punt? Uh, that's a good question. Solid, solid question. They stick to the rivers and the lakes that they used to. Oh, we drew the second black. What gas. Uh, there are a ton of new cards. I mean, there's been like two new sets, so I'd be surprised if... I'm going to discard this Inkwell Leviathan so that if they have Exhum again, sure. If they play, if they name black, we'll Venser it. If they name blue, we'll Vraska's Contempt it. Ah, seems good. Pack Radams. Oh, that's good, too. Just make a rat here. Rats all day. They have two cards in hand. Thank you. Revolution, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome back. Really appreciate it, buddy. Taken two. Did they not activate Liliana? I'll accept. Hmm. Which of these cards is more is more better for you? Mm -hmm. Oh, interesting. Sorry about the uh, massive craisins eating spree that I'm on right now, but streaming's streaming's tough work, man. This has been a very interesting series of events here. I mean, Exum on Iona is pretty good, but like they're both seven. And we would get to actually attack with ours first. Okay, well, that's, diff that's different.
What up, Eager Skinny? Good seeing you, buddy. Always a pleasure. The only problem with Mind Slaver is that they get to see it coming. Sure. Of course it's a land. Because why wouldn't it be? That TCG player article uh, about Tilt was probably later than that. That was probably like 2013, 2014. I would be surprised if that was 2009 because I started writing for TCG player around 2009, so. <laughs> cool. All right, yeah, let's just go to the next game. This has been uneventful. All right, so. That is certainly a deck. I wonder if shoulder is actually just better. I think our deck is sweet. I just think that was a pretty slow hand and then they had to go uh thank you jay gosh with the sub thank you so much buddy man you're a hometown hero i will play first i will keep this hand it's not great but it does some things i think i probably plus karn there and gets removal and aiming at their own iona um right but the problem is that Iona was naming one of the two colors, right? So, like, it just doesn't make sense to, like, it's not, not that it doesn't make sense, but, like, the odds of us hitting removal of the opposite color, and, and it's got to be, like, a blue removal spell, right? What did Iona name? It was black, right? It had to be black. No, it chose blue. Oh, interesting. I just assumed. It's after Zenicron, I was trying to talk about finding a job with a creative writing degree. Interesting. I only sub to use Hunter Face. Don't go to, that's fair. That's fair. If you if you were a Twitch streamer and you had your own your own emotes, I would I would sub just to use Rocket Car. So Oh man, apparently I just don't know how Iona works. Uh, especially in the context of that one specific game. This Mishra's factory is real rough. Do I just kill this idiot? Maybe. I'm going to kill this guy because I don't know if it was what they searched for, and they might just need it. Well, they can't Liliana here. Our next mana base is really rough. We have a lot of double blue, double black cards. Like, the mana we've drawn now makes it so bad. Um, for, I was going to say Shackles, which is kind of comical. But any island in the, any island going forward is pretty good. I imagine they're just going to draw a card because they need a land. Yep. And they hit a land. Yeah, that was a pretty good draw. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. Augur of Bolas. That's going on the bottom of your library. Oh, a duress. Oh, God. That's actually sad. So long, dig through time. 
I hardly knew you. Man, dig through time. I'll miss you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just going to actually bounce their swamp here. And then steal this guy. And we'll just play Spell Skite. Benser the Duress was actually a pretty good play. I totally forgot Benser does that. I don't actually know what these cards do. You guys are watching me for some reason. I don't even understand it. Although it was possible they had a second black source in hand. They had not played a land for the turn, so. Nope, good like this. Hmm. Or we can just play Mindslaver here, which actually probably is better. What are the odds they have a counter spell? Don't have cryptic command. Oh. The resolutions. Go to nine. Well, our board got significantly better. Good games. Are we dead? Or are they conceding? Oh, they conceded. Wow. I don't know what happened. All right. So I think I do like this configuration better. Or we could just toss in one Vraska's Contempt over the second sword, which I think is probably better. And we'll just hope we hit it. We can cut one lane. Actually, I don't think I like Misha's Factory here. Yeah. We'll save it like this. It's not ideal, but if we need it and we get it, cool. I will play first. Oh, I like this hand. Chopper into Abyss. Get to the Smuggler's Chopper. Bjorn, have a good night, buddy. Thank you for hanging out. Always, always a pleasure, pal. Always a pleasure. How many craisins can one man eat on a single stream? Is there a record? Do you guys know? Can you guys find out for me? Craisin record? Does Twitch have rules about eating contests on stream? That's interesting. I wouldn't surprise me because Twitch does has had some uh, very interesting rules in the past. Coalition relic, eh? This was a great series of events, my friend. So we can activate, reveal one, two, three, four, five, play you. 
I think we just want the island. No, we don't. Does having more viewers help me? Yeah, of course. More viewers is more ad revenue, is more exposure, is more followers, is more subscribers, is more people supporting me on Patreon, is more people watching the YouTube videos. Yeah, more viewers is snowballs into everything else that there is, I would say. Most grapes eaten in three minutes is 205. God, that's 105. That's like 65 grapes a minute. 60, 68 grapes a minute about. I just went grocery shopping and left you on to help. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Oh, good times. I'm half tempted to just bounce this guy because he's pretty annoying. What is my ch typical Chipotle order? Uh, I get a fajita veggie burrito with hot and corn salsa. Or, yeah, hot and corn salsa and everything else. So, pretty much everything on it. I don't want you to get a wolf because then you get, get to kill my guy. So, that's pretty scary. Oh, got to pay the blue. Storm count one. Ninety four grapes in your mouth at one time. Jeez. Well, now I can feel better about discarding you. Also, Spellskite seems like a, a fantastic boon against the uh, the master because we can just redirect some of their first their first hits. Uh, I actually don't like pico on my on my tacos or my Mexican. I feel like they're too watery, like pico de gallo. Uh, the tomatoes and stuff are too, it just adds too much water. It feels too uh, too moist. Oh, a snake. A snake a rake. Snake a rooski. Yeah, 94, 94 grapes in your mouth at one time is not reasonable. That does not feel real. Let's crew with this Venser. See what we hit. We're actually at a point where... Actually, can we just deal them six here? That's aggressive. <clears throat> I think we want to Abyss. Yes. Discard you. Okay. This dig through time is looking better and better. Play to land here because presumably we're getting we don't have the spell skite in hand anymore, so uh we do have to find a way to get mana. Also the screaming tarpet's pretty pretty epic. And uh combined with the smuggler's copter, I feel like we're in good shape. Mox. All right, so 
Keep up the trend of all our opponents having power all the time. Wouldn't feel right otherwise. Oh, boy. So, pretty easy sacrifice of Venser here, and they have a pretty easy sacrifice of Arbor Elf. Yeah, piece of power into prime time. Yeah. To the surprise of no one. Yep, I will choose Venser. Oof, where were you last turn? So one, two, three, activate. We get to keep one mana up. Gush. Do we do that? I feel like we, I feel like actually that's probably pretty good. They get one activation of this guy. What are we bounce? How are we bouncing Prime, Primeval Titan? We can, we can bounce Primeval Titan. Oh, they cannot kill Tarpit. Puts them to eight. They're almost dead next turn. Oh yeah, we should have crewed. You're correct. I mean, I'm just. I'm, it's the timing. It's the timing issue. Um. I don't want to attack with. Tarpit here, but I kind of do. Yeah, we do. This is fine. And they're going to master here, and we get to redirect a spell skype. And then we get to keep mana drain up, and uh, this should be lethal because they don't actually like they could attack us for a lot, but they can't attack us with master, or else they don't get to um, they don't get to shoot anything. We get to abyss something, probably an armor elf, I would imagine, and they can only activate one of their lands, presumably. So, I would be surprised if uh, Smuggler's Copter and Creeping Tarpet ended up winning this game. That Vinny is more fire than my cousin. Wow, that's fantastic. Yo, let me get that vinegar. Oh, are they just going to tap out for something? This is great. Oh, wow, they're literally tapping out for something. This is fantastic. They're not. Oh, yeah. Never. Never in a million years is that going to resolve. <laughs> Give me all the mana, please. So I'm going to presume you don't have an answer for Smuggler's Copter or Creeping Tarpet here, and we just kill you next turn. Sweet deal. It was a good game, huh? Um, I kind of just want the removal again. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm going to take out one island. I think it, taking out the islands only makes our Vidalcan Shackles worse. Um, but adding all the other stuff is pretty good. 
Like, I think we want Hero's Downfall here. Which actually I think is the only thing we want to really bring in. I think that's fine. We can go to 41 here. I'm okay with it. Uh, I don't like port because we have we're our mana. We don't have that much mana to begin with. So, oh, I like turn one metal worker. That seems good. I mean, it doesn't help us do anything on the next turn, <laughs> but we could also wait and just go baleful strix on turn two. Now nah, we're gonna run the brokenness. No gamble, no future. Our opponent said he gads, which I'm a big fan of. That's that's good times. I think we're gonna go black here first in case we actually need to play Heroes Downfall. Um, and then we can still play Baleful Strix if we don't. Oh yeah, beats. <laughs> yeah, Metal Worker's doing his job. Oh, they, this is gonna be. They say gonna, it's gonna be tough to stop right before they kill him. No, metal worker, why? Okay, good. They didn't kill him. Metal worker, no. Why? Oh, okay, good. Metal worker survived. Thank goodness. It's okay. We did it. That's a lot of mana. I've never figured out what's happening in Metalworker's artwork. Metalworker is... I think he's giving his 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 workery powers to these other guys. It's Tony Stark. It's Big Iron Man. And he's shooting bad guys. Metal is being worked. Alright, that's fair as well. I kind of want to kill this because it's really scary. So... Yeah. So, we're going to have to actually activate you. Dues, Antony, one thirty-five dollars Later, content, keep with the great work. Vintage draft, stip. Angels, titan, swords, power cards, override the stip. Okay, hold on. Let me write this down. Angels, titans, and swords. That sounds gas. All right, I'm going to put this up for tomorrow, if that's cool with you. If there's a better day that works for you, let me know. Um, We're going to edit this right now uh, okay perfect sweet that is exciting all right so we got a lot of things that we can do here we can actually heroes downfall this guy um, we can play Smuggler's Copter with you, but if we hear his downfall, we can't actually Metal Worker as well. But we do get to Snapcaster next turn, which is pretty sweet. So I guess we can smuggle. Oh, we can't attack, attack with Smuggler's Copter anyway. So I think we're just going to go land, reveal, smuggy. This adds two, so it can cast itself. But we actually need to reveal both. No, we don't. We can just reveal the one, right? Cancel. So we're going to go one, two, one from this, and then Smuggler's Copter can be cast with Workshop. Okay, let's do that. One, done. One, two, downfall you. Got him. 
and then we'll play Get to the Chopper. All right. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Our next up, we can go Island, Reveal Baleful Strix, and either Snapcaster Hero's Downfall or... This is one, two, three, four, five. We'll have one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, and or you can just play Baleful Strix. Either one. I think Beer My Man, Beer My Man is correct in that they aren't great movies, but um, they are enjoyable. F like, they're fun to just watch. Also, I also agree with that uh, that the first one was good and the rest were not good. I so you know, everyone's got valid valid Transformer points here. All right, just a bunch of nerds here. I'm okay with this. No blockums. Three cards. We have virtual. I don't understand it. I don't get it. I don't understand. So we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think we can just mind slaver and I guess we're just mind slavering here. Done. Let's see what they have, I guess. Like a you do. The really colorful stereotype bots. Yeah, those are horrendous. Oh. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see what you draw here. Coalition relic, eh? I don't want you to do any of these things. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, this doesn't really do much, unfortunately. Yep, I guess we're just passing here. <laughs> that seems good. All right, so we're going to tap all your things. I guess we're in mine. There we go. All right, tap you, tap you, add, do all the things. Something good. That's actually pretty pretty reasonable here. Um, yeah, Yargle. We can hard cast it if we keep Baleful Strix in hand, but that doesn't let us do anything else. Is is the problem? Alternatively, I have to get rid of Snapcaster to do anything. So you have Relic. Woolamog and Avenger in hand. And the other thing is if we crew, we can't actually cast Force of Will. So we're just going to be awful Strix here. We're going to crew with the Baleful Strix. Okay. We didn't reveal first because I, I want to actually keep Baleful Strix up and I want to crew with the Metal Worker. Yes. That is what we want. Force of Will, Ditch Snapcaster, cast Dig Through Time next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six mana. Cool. 
Thanks for being a sold for streamer and keeping it real. Also for playing Vintage Cube and Modern Love Frank. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it, Solich. That is awesome. Um, is this a thing we care about? Probably. I mean, if they hit a land. Oh boy. No. No, this gives us a free turn to play Dig Through Time. Why isn't Yargle in the cube? Oh boy, just... Just stop it. What does user notice reward mean? I don't even know what that means. Oh, it was on the uh, activated football giveaway for third. What does that even mean? Oh wow, multiple moxes in play. Seems good. One, two, three, four, five. Coalition Relic. Sure. Well, you should be able to cast a little mog. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> wow, that was actually perfect. You went, you drew land, mock, sapphire, reclamation, sage. That's fairly impressive, actually. Yeah, whatever you hit here is fine, I guess. I did see Colossal Demog going to be in the next set. That dude is... Can't get enough. Just just can't get enough. I just can't get enough. This is a cute soccer ball. What does that mean? Oh, it is. Look at that. It's got a little face and everything. Look at that little guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, we're definitely blocking the Lotus Cobra. We don't have anything to crew anymore. And if they... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. If they don't draw land, they can't cast a Willamog. Tezzeret is a dude. <sighs> we're real far behind right now. I don't know if you guys knew this. One, two, dig everything away. That's pretty good. The Blur, thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Um, we could Force of Will, but then they just go Exile Tezzeret, Exile Metalworker, and that's still pretty bad for us. They also have Avenger of Zendikar in hand. I'm not a fan of any of the things that, that are going on here. So we're going to get rid of one, two, three, four. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wow. This is a pretty bad hit. Uh, I guess it's just Thirst Fencer. Seems good. No blocks. I'll take five. Go to... Treat yourself to Vintage Q. It's the best day of the year. That's true. It is, it is the best day of the year. Except when your opponent has double moxes. And they got an Ulmog in hand. Avenger of Zendikar. Yeah, we're definitely going to force this guy. Because I don't actually think we can win if we don't. So Venser. We'll get rid of Venser. So now they have Ulamog in hand and one other stupid thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, Sylvan carry added. Sure. Hmm. Frasca's contempt. Not thrilled with this, but <laughs> and we whiff. All right. Yep. Any order. We're just gonna go to the next game. We can't beat an Ulamog. They just go exile Greaves, exile Tezzeret, and they have Ulamog on board. We can Vraska's contempt it, but we're also at seven, so we're gonna take a lot. Sword would have been reasonable, but we're not gonna be able to cast sword and equip and do a thing, so. Sword actually seems very good against them. I'm going to take Workshop out. I think it's pretty restrictive. I wonder if Massacorum is good. Probably not, right? Actually, yeah, I like that. I like Choops over Slaver. Slaver's pretty slow and, and dirtily. I can also bring him to Torok as well. I just can't get enough. All right, let's, let's do it to it. Ooh, this is a keeper. Turn two Greaves into Metalworker. Could be good. Turn two Greaves, Metalworker, reveal four. Depending on what we draw. You have no idea how misguided you are. I rake in 20 and 35 an hour plus Bennies and a cell phone. Recently paid straight cash for a fourth number unlimited park. Computer lab and recently for... What does that mean? I don't know what any of that means. Avenger on top, all right. Good to know. Okay, so we want to crew with Baleful Strix, I think, just so we can keep up mana in case we draw any artifact here. Also, three lands in hand is great for this crewing, but not for, uh, not for actually...
That's pretty good next turn, actually. <laughs> I am a fan of that. So next turn we can reveal this to add two, three, four, five, six, seven. Any artifact is pretty good. Noble, noble hierarch. Can't Greaves, though. That's true. That's true. No blocks. I'll take Dose. That's pretty sad. I'll make a beast. Next time they can Avenger. That's pretty scary. Well, the good thing about Smuggly Copter is that it you still get the ability even if you kill their Garrick, which is nice. Yes. Merg. So nine, so we can add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, no boy, no. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we can actually cast this and play Tarpit here, which is nice, though. So we're gonna do that. And then next turn, next turn we'll have a game. Oh wow, they have put like no lands on top. So we know their hand is Avenger and Noble and three other things, and they have Arbor Elf on top. Smuggler's Copter doing some serious business in this in this match. I just can't get enough. I'll take five. Smuggler's Copter confirmed good. Glad we figured it out. All right, another forest. Didn't they have more colors of mana in the last games? And like two moxes and like... Oh boy. Well, we're going to dig here because... This is probably worth finding a... Uh... a force of Will, maybe? But if not, it lets us know what we are playing, so. Wow. Okay. Sort of body and mind actually seems pretty insane. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight with sword. So we can go three, four, five, six, and eight, nine with chupacabra. Six, seven, eight. Sword actually seems pretty insane here. I don't actually care about Primeval Titan if we can go Chupacabra and Sword of Body and Mind. Which is what we're going to try to do here. Yeah, we're going to take Sword and the Chups. So Arbor Elf is probably gone. Yep, always yield to that guy. This is rough. Oh, Land War Elf. <laughs> okay. One elf replaces the other. Yes! That's actually exactly what we needed. That's perfect, dude. Reveal one, two, three. All right. Um, seven, eight, nine. Tell them twelve, thirty, fourteen. One, two, three, four, five. S nope, that's not gonna work. So I think it's just uh, chupacabra. Black, black. Oh, 
sword. One, two, three. Uh, crew with Chupacabra. Put you on there. Oh, cancel. We're going to actually play Spell Skite. Play land. Oh, we were actually going to discard the land. Ah, eh, it doesn't matter. That's fine. We can put you in the graveyard. Oh, not that one. This one. I'm just trying to play fast because we have three minutes on the clock, so. So, Xenagos. Five, six, seven, eight mana. So they can actually play this. I mean, they probably just play Avenger here. And Is this 10 cards or 20 cards? 10. Where's my double strikers at? <whistles> Untapped? Tapped. So we have Avenger, Noble, and Xenagos. It's good to know. Green Sun for three. Okay, so we know your entire hand, I believe. Reclamation Sage. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, actually. Yeah, I'll just have this guy die instead. Not the best, but gets around Rex Sage, so. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're just gonna block here. All right, well. Then it goes to your face. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And now we're just going to play that guy. We'll mark off the top. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow. Wow. Actually, they don't have a land, do they? Hmm. Um, so we're going to go reveal this guy. Done. Play you and play you. Greaves up a blocker. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we know their hand. Yes. All right. So we know they have Noble, Avenger, and Ulamog in hand, right? Because we got rid of the relic. That should be blanks. That should do it. Don't, oh, man. So close, dude. How is this deck being, being, being this good? Two minutes, 34 seconds. Only problem with this line is if you can, we know exactly 
what they have. They have Avenger, Noble, and Ulamog. We know their entire hand. Block and I guess block here. This guy's gonna die anyway. We can go to three. And we're gonna mill them out. They're gonna lose all the rest of their deck, and then they should die during draw step, presumably. Definitely feels good to be back on the Vintage Cube format, 1,000%. Don't have a, a hidden Eldrazi. Mox Emerald, they have three Moxes in their deck. Wow, the grossness is so real, dude. Nice three Mox. I mean, I hate to say, but I didn't need to see good. I didn't need to say good games preemptively. We just knew they have um, Avenger and Relic in hand, so not Relic, uh, Avenger and whatever doesn't matter. Ulamog. All right, give me one second. I'll be right back, and I'll see you in a minute. I'm actually surprised that we won that game. But, uh, alright, let's see if we can 3 0. I'm not sure, but. What's going on? Finally, Vintage Cube is back. It is a good time, so everyone, I will play first. 
This hand actually seems surprisingly good. It's always weird when people address me by name and I don't know what, I'm like, hey, buddy, how you doing? I don't know what to call them, so. I'll also give them the D face. I hate answering when they ask if I'm streaming because then they're like, all right, I'll just head on over. Oh boy, this is a big... Spell Skype main deck is actually pretty good against this. You gonna give me a land? A workshop? What a time to be alive. Oh god. You are not an ideal draw, sir. Sitting in 45 traffic minute traffic is not ideal, Matthew Ori. Not ideal at all, good sir. This guy blocks. He protect. He bleck. But most of all, he redirect. <laughs> oh, I was so proud of that. That was very good. Yeah, I agree. If that's I, I've said that before. I'm like, if you're going to stream snipe while we're playing Vintage Cube, which is like just a literal fun format with nothing on the line, you got real problems. Oh, this guy's dashing. Oh my god, they're so generous to us. Give me a card we can play now. That's not what I asked you for, but okay. I'm talking to myself. This also, this forces them to dash their Zergo again. Oh, wow. That's really good. Um, otherwise, they don't have a Haste Guy. And uh, the fact that they've already drawn us two lands off of Goblin Guide means I don't care if it dies. You want a plus chase? I don't want to put any more cards in the red deck's hand. Strip mine. Can I redirect that to a uh, spell sky? Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, thank goodness. That's actually great. That's really good. Wow. Definitely not stream, stream sniping, as you can tell from the uh, letting our swamp survive. That's, uh, that's pretty good. It's a pretty good. It's got to be Goblin Guide, right? Goblin Guide is just worse than Zergo here. Yeah. That is one rude dude. Stop playing one drops. Oh, that's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're real close. Pretty sure we thirst here and then see if we can play anything with workshop. No, but we can queue up mana drain. Actually, we just maybe we just discard Mind Slaver. One, two, three, four. We're gonna take a. Eh, we're not gonna take that much, I guess. 
One, two, three, four. We can actually discard two lands. I don't think that's a big... Oh, uh, we want to keep the other swamp, though, in case they kill this swamp. You could have redirected that to itself. You're right, actually. I really dropped the ball there. Depending on how big of a spell we counter... I'm going to discard you. I can't tell if Sarcastatron is being sarcastic or not. Yep. I don't think they're going to play anything. This is very sad. Got a 10. Interesting. So they lose figure next turn. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We could play Copter here. Four, five, six, seven. I think we're just gonna dig through time. I'm in the Discord and I have no idea how. Hey, you're skinny, congrats, buddy. <laughs> I think, if that's a good thing. Abyss just eating all these dudes is pretty sweet. Next time we can Inkwell Leviathan too. We play the second swamp because we want to disincentivize them from killing one swamp. If they see we have two, they might be like, oh. Well. Oh. Yes, please. Now we're just going to will mock. We can also dig through time as well now, uh, which is pretty pretty bonkers. The problem with Ulamog here is that it dies to the abyss. I'm still gonna dig. One, two, three, four. Oh no, it doesn't. It doesn't die to the abyss. We already went over this. Uh, so we're going to have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So we're actually just play Ulamog here. Uh, I'm pretty sure we just take Force of Will Snapcaster. Seems like a good hand. I keep forgetting the indestructible part of Ulamog. My god. 4, 5... Could have also played Copter, but I just don't even... We're actually going to activate Jace too, which is pretty sweet. We'll get ready one of your red. I don't actually care about strip mine. It's actively worse for you if you if you play strip mine here. Sure. Ulamog doesn't care about no abyss. Go ahead, try to suck me into the abyss. I dare you. Act of treason. Magma jet to the face. Okay. Okay. We got this force of will back up. That's really all you want. Well, excuse me. Uh, I'll choose Ulamog. Okay. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Gas. Uh, I'll attack you. Ulamog might be from the Abyss. That's actually, uh, that sounds about right. What do we got? Chandra, Torch of Defiance, Exquisite Firecraft, Sulfuric Vortex, Glorybringer, Burst Lightning, Hazaret. Eidolon, Eidolon, Metamorph. This is a pretty solid red deck. Uh, 
Um, I don't even think we play workshop here. There's no real need. We can both draw. I feel safe doing that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And just play a land that lets us do things. We can keep up uh, Vraska's Contempt and, S and Force of Will, which is probably more than enough. Get rid of Baleful Strix. Uh, I don't want to actually get rid of... I don't want to get rid of Smuggler's Compter because they might... They're going to bring an artifact removal anyway, but... Whatever. If they double Lightning Bolt, we'll Vraska's Contempt our Jace Beller and Force of Will the other one, so... I can't imagine we're not okay here when they have four mana. That would have been sick if that worked. That would have been amazing. That's one of the few cards that deals six damage. But we're not going to let that. That's not how we do. Ulamog against the red deck seems pretty good. Seems pretty good. I like Nighthawk a lot, actually. All right, let's... Let's get rid of Workshop and you. Add two Swampums. Uh, let's get rid of Mind Slaver. It doesn't seem great here. Sundering Titan doesn't seem great. Bring in Nighthawk and Big Choops. That seems better. What up, Joy Fix? It? I actually don't know if Jai's Emulating Inferno is in the cube. That is a good question. Tendrils doesn't seem good. Disc seems like it kills all of our things. And they only have like two creatures out at any given time. I am tempted to bring in sort of Light and Shadow just because it is uh, life gain. Yeah, I think it's actually better in this situation. Is that the same list? That's funny. There's a there's a there's a cube list and a what's in cube. That's good. I can see Necrotal over Ulamog too. I like all these suggestions. These are all good. Uh, I don't like thinking the ice because we actually don't have that many sorceries. We have about four or five instants and sorceries, so it's actually just pretty rough. Um, this hand is not keepable. This hand, however. Dang, every game. Help me on Mulligan, even though I just put a land on the bottom. Dang, I could have drawn a card. Could have had a freebie. Uh, we have not, we have yet to have a problem with Copter, so. Sword of Light and Shadow. All right, well. <laughs> oh what up pretty bones that's pretty funny uh, wow none of them got in there because of that that's funny to me i'm just gonna pass here and keep up mana drain because that seems pretty pretty good oh no attacks nothing 
Nothing? Oh, that's the perfect card of their deck to mana drain. It's like the most expensive thing they can reasonably cast. And it's also busted against us, so. Adding three? So we get to a sword here? We have seven mana this turn. That's pretty bonkers. We're definitely playing a land because we have no reason not to. So three, four, five. Hmm. Can we keep anything up that we care about? We can also go three. I think we just gain life here. Let's play you for three. Is gaining three better? Like, we gain three, we block one, we take three. Yeah, that seems fine. Plus, it gives us a chance to draw land, so. And if Spell Sky dies for some reason, we get to just get it back for free, so. Sort of Light and Shadow is really weirdly worded. Like, it forces you to choose a creature, even though, like, there might not be one in there. Which is fine, because it says up to one, so... But then it says, would you like to use its ability after you've gained the life? So it's only referring to the the return part. Ravenous Chupacabra. That's pretty good. I want to block you, because we take... It's two damage either way, but if you want to pump this guy, then I'd rather not take the extra points, so... Burst lightning. You got it. So we just get to get Spellscape back here. It's pretty strong. Also, being able to vents or whatever they play here to guarantee us getting spell sky back is pretty strong. Unless they have it, unless it's literally lightning. Wow. Wow, that'll do it. Oh my god, that's insane. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was not the deck I expected a 3-0 with, but uh, it turns out it's pretty okay. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on Patreon. Check me out on Twitch. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for the support. See you later.